Hey everyone, so this is a quick update to the London Real David Icke investigation that I put out yesterday. And the, the reason for it, I mean, go and watch that if you haven't seen it, because this film will make a lot more sense if you have. Um, so the, the reason for doing this update is that David Icke's YouTube uh, account was taken down last night. This just highlights all of the issues that I was talking about. The unaccountable big tech platforms making heavy-handed censorship decisions, and that then creates the niche for an acceleration of the claims of censorship, the claims of conspiracy, all of this stuff, which obviously there, <laughs> the fact that Facebook and YouTube took uh, David Icke's page down within very quick succession does look like some coordination. I'm going to speculate about what I think that actually was, why I think they did it. Um, I've got a couple of ideas and I'll play a couple of clips that might illustrate that as well. So just to recap the basics of the story, uh, London Real did an interview with David Icke on April the 6th where David Icke talked about 5G being designed for a mass cull of humanity, was causing the symptoms of the virus. There was a lot of controversy. There were articles on the BBC and elsewhere. YouTube took the video down the day afterwards and said that they would tighten their restrictions and they would take down anything that linked the virus to 5G. Now, while I was researching this story over the last couple of weeks, I talked to Daniel Allington, who is a researcher at King's College, who's been looking into David Icke for a very long time, and he showed me this. I'm going to share my screen with you now to show, show you something. Um, let me see. This is David Icke's YouTube channel right now. There we go. Can you see that? Yeah. Just listen to this. This is David Icke video, Is There a Virus? A video with pushing half a million views now, several days after YouTube announced that it was taking down um, conspiracy, th conspiracy videos that linked, uh, that linked 5G to, uh, to, to COVID-19. Let's just have a listen to what he's saying at the end of this. And the more they expand 5G, which is why they're trying to do it as fast as possible, the more people are going to get sick and the more people are going to test for exosomes renamed COVID-19. Just to clarify, this is after YouTube said that they would be taking down everything that linked 5G to uh, coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, you know, yeah. This, this is indefensible. So what I think has been happening is that other journalists have been finding this story as well, have maybe talked to Daniel. Uh, he's told them again about, or they've just looked on David Icke's site as well and seen that there are, that David Icke is saying stuff on his site that is similar to the stuff that got taken down. Now that is a good story because it shows uh, big tech platforms uh, are not uh, living up to their word. They would then go to YouTube, but what it does obviously is then feeds the narrative that YouTube are applying their terms of service in random ways, they're, they're targeting them at specific individuals, they're only doing it when it becomes a public relations issue for them, all of those allegations. Um, this is exactly the kind of dynamic where you get these narratives and a lot of truth in those narratives as well. Hang on, what, what, who, who are these people to be making these decisions? Who are they? They're not being accountable, they're not being consistent, all of this stuff. So London Real have already put up this video uh, in the wake of David Icke being taken off YouTube. And yet now, these trillion dollar technology companies that hide behind their community guidelines um, now have, that they treat subjectively, um, now uh, coincidentally enough, have banned him within 24 hours, Facebook and now YouTube. We will not be silenced. We will not be censored and we will not be stopped. Now is the time to join the resistance and join London Real. The digital freedom platform is happening, all right? It's gonna be in full effect tomorrow. If you wanna be a part of that, go to londonreel.tv forward slash freedom, become a founding member of this platform. Some people don't get it, all right? And some people do get it. Some people wanna be counted, and your name will be there etched in stone as someone who helped us fight on the front lines for freedom. Or do you wanna be someone who sat back and let others fight for your freedom? That's the question. So then we have this weird dynamic where YouTube's algorithm is rewarding this. Um, I don't know about you, but London Reel's content is always at the top of my feed, uh, despite them claiming that YouTube is this massive censor. And the whole thing just illustrates the point that I was making yesterday. We do not really have a way of solving this problem. All we have is big tech firms making unaccountable decisions really badly, 
and we have no kind of crowdsourced or democratic way of holding these truth claims to account. Again, go and watch that film if you haven't seen it because it won't make a lot of sense otherwise. So as I say again, I'd love to do an interview with Brian Rose. I'd love to do an interview with David Icke. And if I did an interview with David Icke, I would do it responsibly. Uh, I would put it up on YouTube. And if they were going to take it down, try and take editorial decisions on my behalf, that is a free speech battle that I think would be really worth having. <laughs>